ความรู้สึกว่าแลกผิดแลกถูกสวัสดีครับ I give this for you okay. but you have to smile first like a big smile Money is the motivation. Get a job, go to work, get promoted, facelift. Made a hit, made some fans, and I'm fornicating. Had a dream, Dr. King, and I went and chased it. Yeah. My favorite place. Too late already. I mean, some of the shops are closing. Now off to find. <laughs> that alone is a big negative impact in the environment. This video of me made by the United Nations Environment Program is exactly the reason why I am in Bangkok for this competition. Let's do a throwback. March 2018. Hi Mario, my love. I flew to Bangkok because I was one of the 10 chosen winners by the United Nations Environment Program's Low Carbon Lifestyle Challenge. And in this competition, they granted 10 different startups across Asia Pacific a grant to continue, launch, or scale the positive environmental impact of our sustainable startups. And what I love about this competition is that all of us have the same goal, to help Mother Nature. And I really love it because we're from different countries and I learned so much even if we are from different industries and we all became really good friends like we all went out we ate scorpions we went partying like we knew how to work hard how to put up with our environmental impact and you know how to have fun and i think that's one of the best things that i got from this competition and not just the dollars after six months we were all asked to fly back to bangkok compete again for another ten thousand dollars and so i'm here to compete again i have to go for them smart community for communities of people during this program, I met so many amazing people, including Mr. Machai Viravaidya, aka Mr. Condom, who is the founder of the Bamboo School Thailand and the Cabbages and Condoms restaurant. This is Mr. Jun Jandai, who is the founder of Pon Pon Thailand, an organic farm and learning center in Chiang Mai. He visited my booth and I fangirled. <laughs> For her Instagram, come on. <laughs> so just you are gonna get interviewed. What did they say? Action? No, live camera. Are you from Manila, Philippines, and I am the founder of Phoenix. The bank could assess the viability of projects based on the following orders. My fellow winners, Latika, Hassam, Monish, and Lewis were all on stage. And this is our amazing filmmaker, Blasan, who made our short documentary for Phoenix. Awesome. 
This was me about to go on stage and I've pitched so many times but I'm still so nervous. And this is me finally pitching and this is because Phoenix shoes has 97% less carbon footprint versus a regular footwear. As the legend goes, when the Phoenix resurrects from the flames, she is even more beautiful than before. And this is why Phoenix celebrates. And here I am guys crying like a baby because Phoenix won 10,000 US dollars from United Nations Environment Program. So random rooftop view. And then I see my baby. Okay, that's my baby. See? Hey, my love. Hello, guys. What? It's what? What? Ah. what is it? Just for my vlog. <laughs> Quick. Shut up. Hey, everyone. We're celebrating. I can go before. I can go before all these stuff. Fun fact, those two people that you just saw are my besties who designed and made this beautiful gown of Miss Universe Thailand 2020. With your hair on my cheek, going 95 at night. You're a freak, you don't say you're exactly what I like. Exactly what I like With your hair on my cheek Going 95 at night If you think I'm really such a proud friend to one of the best fashion designers that I know.
Rally, Big, and On are my bestest Thai friends. We met in a fashion exchange program in Tokyo back in 2013 with different fashion students across Southeast Asia. And to this day, we still remain very close and support each other in our fashion businesses. Now let's talk about the many times I bump into my ultimate celebrity crush. So the story behind this was I needed more Thai baths so I went to the mall by myself and I looked for Super Rich which is the famous money exchange and just my luck because on that same day they had like a new branch opening in that certain mall and their endorser was my ultimate celebrity crush, Mario Maurer. And to be fair, this was like our seventh time meeting. And this was my favorite money exchange experience ever. Love you, Mario. I cried a lot during the competition because it took three years for Phoenix to win its first ever big grant and it was from United Nations. And so my advice would always be just keep the faith, trust in perfect timing because the universe listens and life will just surprise you. Just like this random day when Mario and B Jeans Thailand surprised me. I literally just visited my friend's office. Or this day where I just really wanted to change my money and he was there. One more thing. What habits have you changed? What sustainable businesses do you support? What policy will you change? How are you helping with this fight? Let's take care of Mother Earth.